Yo. Meet 4 boy Simmy, my group Iron Man account. It's Stripper Drown and I'm floating. Let me be honest, I am a skiller. My highest skills are fire making, wood cutting, mining, fletching and fishing. So you know I'm not well in the head. But in order for me to skill even harder, some upgrades are in line. So let's embark on this journey on how I didn't do Calvarion. Damn, this house is so cozy, I'm so glad I'm not- So how this journey started is actually very simple. Recently my friend Carla- <laughs> told me about the low risk Calvarian method and that sparked something in my head especially after recently obtaining the dragon felling axe. The best in slot tools for mining and wood cutting respectfully are the crystal pickaxe and the crystal axe. The only way of obtaining that is through crystal two seeds which is only dropped through Zulcano, the skilling boss of Bristinus. And man do I need that crystal felling axe. I promise you guys I'm useful, the 4.5% boost to woodcutting will be well worth it. After scrolling through how Zalcana works, I realized that it is best done with a dragon pickaxe. We did do Calphite Queen at one point, but our stats weren't as high as we would have liked, so the trips were fairly short. And after a while we just threw in the towel, because honestly... Whoa! Let's go! Dragon I got the drip. Are you shitting me? I got the fucking drip! Nah. What the fuck? Oof! Oof. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I had enough. Nah. The getting there was so really annoying. But the Calvarian method will change my dragon pickaxe less lifestyle once and for all. Step 1. Song of the Elves. I did all of the nasty level 70 requirements for this quest and after many mindless hours of early game hunter and tithe farm, that was achieved. Plus I got the farmer set and I heard back so honestly, totally worth it. Herbler was quite annoying however because I had to constantly beg my friends to give their all the herbs and go on farm runs like I was trying to feed my eight children and starve multiple kingdoms because... Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Ranars. <laughs> but after all that questionable amount of unfinished Avento potions Karla gave me and a few thousand Mordmire mushrooms, the Herbler grind was also done. And on to the next step. And honestly I never did Song of the Owls, it did not feel like it. Step 2. Zombie axe. I did more research into Calvarium because I was fully expecting to just walk in and whack his ass. Yes, but not yet. See, Calvarium is weak to crush. Last I checked, I don't have a good crush weapon, and the best one I could obtain was the zombie axe. It's a 1 in 800 drop from those zombie armors here, so I just did Defender of Varrock real quick, and the fastest way I could kill those zombies is through bursting. Luckily, that's something I can do, so let me just get my gear and. Ah. Step 3. Imbued God Cape. I felt ashamed. Ashamed that I was over 75 magic and didn't even have a default God Cape. And I just had to go get it. Usually I would have been like, man, the wilderness is so scary. But nah, I was locked in. If I got PK'd, I just kept going. I don't care. I just went through Mage Arena 1, manually casted those annoying spells 300 times, and got ready to do Mage Arena 2. I did no research into Mage Arena 2 demons and my first demon was the Samurai one. That spawn was next to the little 50 obelisk and I quickly realized that, oh, this guy hurts. And I quickly opened the wiki page and noticed, oh, I just have to walk away from him to not get chunked. And after killing him, some bloke sees me from the obelisk and game ends me right there. So I just go back. This time I spawn near the edge and then bait him into the peninsula. Nothing too difficult and gothics and Samurai domain were both sleepers, so yeah. Mind you, I did this on a Sunday evening, but to be honest, I just wrapped my black dragon hide and pink hat and more people locked up seeing me than I did, so I was chillin'. And after getting the Mage Arena 2 cape, I was ready to do armored zombies again. And as I was about to go there, I realized that, wait, those fellas are undead. Does Salve Amulet work for Mage? No, I gotta imbue it. Step 4. Salve Amulet A. Or if you're a fellow Estonian, Sal Amulet, hey! After seeing the conundrum I was in, Swante. <laughs> told me to just use the fury. But nah. The Salvian Beat's gonna be useful later on as well, right? So I grabbed full directs and slam. Nightmare Zone? Nightmare Zone. For a few hours and that's that. Surely not. Step 2 Zombie Axe. I was ready. Got all my runes and sat there for a few hours. 
didn't even get lucky, it was just very near the drop rate and it took me like two hours, so yeah. Was the Imbued God Cape and the Imbued Salt Amulet worth it? Oh yes. Step 5. Wilderness Heart Diary Requirements. I didn't mention earlier, but in order to safely do Calvarian, you need Wilderness Heart Diary, because it removes the teleport delay inside the Calvarian Cave, which makes the process that much safer. I was only missing 75 smithing from Wildy Heart, and I literally could have just boosted the level, but I want Lumbridge Elite eventually, so I just became a Blast Furnace Man and helped the giant bloke for the last level. Step 6. Wilderness Diary. Okay, why does the medium diary require a Keldergrim quest? Huh? Yeah, I, I did it. The tasks that required bosses were quite cool though. Step 7. Calvarian. I'm ready to finally take on Calvarian. I've been waiting for this moment for a while now. Hey yo, what is that cape though? Step 8. Enlightened Journey. This lovely quest is a prerequisite for Monkey Menace Dew and Medium Ardoin Diary. And my dumbass had grown willow trees a few months back, and I picked them up and found out that willow roots and branches are not the same thing. Surely I'm not the only one who had to go through that canon event. But luckily, willow trees only grow for hours, but like, what? Step 9. Monkey Madness 2. Very simple reason for this quest. I want to pretend to my friends that I'm willing to grind demonic gorillas, but when in reality all I want to do is get the royal seed pod for a one-click teleport, because it's the most reliable method to escape that dungeon. And all in all, I forgot mostly everything about this quest. Suppressed memories, I guess. Step 10. Dragon Slayer 2. Mythscape. Yeah. This will be insanely useful for Calvarian because it's a cheap cape with a crush and a prayer bonus. Initially I was gonna use the Arty Cloak, but this is just perfect. First of all, I did A Tale of Two Cats, and honestly, this quest is just peak of the silly humor this game has. Anyway, on to Dragon Slayer 2. Again, forgot most details, but when I got to Warcraft with my 80 range, some brain worm entered me and telling me, Hello, hello, hello! Gives two range strength, how crazy! Not knowing that the quest and post quest Warcraft are different. The final fight was a bit difficult at first, but then I realized that, wait, if I just focus, I can do it. So I did. Really cool quest though, I enjoyed it. Step 11. Ava's Assembler. I just do a few kills and I get the head, no problem, right? Somehow the first five kills were no problem at all. But the second I get the small upgrades like Divine Ranger Pods, Archer Ring, etc. My RNG just got worse and worse. And mind you, the recommended level for Warcat grinding is 90. Mine was 80, so... Yeah, did it, that didn't deter me though. <laughs> the piss poor RNG did piss me off at times because how consistently can I just hit single digit numbers, bro? In between those kills, I also did every clue in my bank because look at this page collection we have, it's actually laughable. I got the rogue set because I need 72 thieving for Ardoin Hard and Desert Treasure 2. And I also told Swante who was going for Dragon Warhammer that yo. That would be really useful for me doing the Vorkash grind. And the king actually got it the day after, like, okay. Uh, yeah, but, but Dragon Warhammer made my RNG even worse somehow, but it guaranteed most kills at least. Even when some of them went up to 7 minutes. Uh, I'm feeling this one. This one's it. This one's it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm... Alright. Thank you, kind sir. I'm done here. This, the discrepancy between RNG actually drove me a bit crazy because how often I doubled my personal record. Anyway, this took me 50 kills because, of course. And there it fucking is. Oh my goodness. But my message in the group chat explained my emotions the best. Step 264. Calvarium. Now this is where we are. My setup is looking solid and I'm finally ready to do it. In all honesty, I already did 10 kills after Wilderness Heart Diary, but I got PK'd and escaped from a defense PR who had 200 mil ranged and cooking XP, but level 2 defense, so 07 to him. But it made me realize I can't reliably use the glory to teleport away. 
everything has built up to this moment and instead of already doing Calvarian, I am here making a video and once again procrastinating this dragon pickaxe grind. Who knows, I could literally get it the next drop and I would look so stupid. Yeah nah, it didn't happen. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming along with me on this journey. I can promise you guys I will get that crystal pickaxe soon so I can go back to being the amethyst bitch with a smile on my face. Take care fellas, more Nolan deer coming soon. He recorded all this and he's still not going to do it. Eat my pit. My pit gets stuck. <laughs> okay, hold on.